Hello, this is Anagoji here, and welcome to uh, GFest Vlog. Yep, I'm doing GFest Vlog like a week after GFest. Did not find this out. <laughs> I was gonna do it like the day after, but I got busy with other videos and work, obviously. But better late than ever, so. Okay, maybe a little bit Anyway, I will be just discussing my overall experience day by day. So, with day one, uh, pretty much mostly waiting in lines just to get legit my entire time. <laughs> that day was waiting, waiting in line to get my badge. Waiting in line just to get the Yuko Shoto. That's the name. Muto Shoko Shoto Imuko. The girl who played Akane. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her first name. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. <laughs> Sorry. Yimiko and Yimoko. Yimiko Shoto. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Anyway. Uh, just get the tickets the you have to get like a ticket i don't understand why they did that they didn't do it with if that was the case why didn't they do it with the other times they had a millennium after sg fest i don't understand why they had to do that they could just easily have yumiko downstairs i don't know i guess just because she was like a special guest like with the big guest the main attraction but if that was the case, why didn't they do that with Don Fly? Uh, uh, anyway, gotta get in line for that. It took me forever, and the lines were chaotic because no one knew which line to win. Nobody knew. We just had to figure it out. They didn't tell us, they didn't plan it, so no one knew. No one knew what line they were in. Like, legit, no one knew what line they were in. So, most of the day was just spinning line. Thank God the dealer's room line moved faster than the actual lines just to get in and get your badges and stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> like, most of my day was spinning line. But I didn't go to the dealer's room as soon as it opened up. I actually went downstairs to go. No, I went to the dealer's room. We got like, a couple things, like DVDs. And a 1954 NECA that I got from my mom. Yeah, I spent a lot on the first day. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I literally spent way too much. <laughs> yeah, that's no joke. But day one was mostly just being in line. And then I believe I went down to the video games, but I didn't play no games. Actually, when I went to the video games, I didn't play that many games. And not as much as I did last year. I only played like a couple rounds with some people. That's about it. But it was mostly due to because it was crowded, and mostly everybody was just waiting to play Godzilla Save. Was playing Godzilla Save Earth. And God damn it, I should have played Olga. I should have played Olga or Mecha King Ghidorah, not Destroyer. God freaking damn it! I said I was gonna pick Mecha King Ghidorah. God fucking damn it! Why in the hell did I pick Destroyer? Why in the fucking hell did I pick Destroyer? I think I just brain fought right there. Oh, God. Anyway. I should have put Mecha King Ghidorah. Why in the hell did I pick Destroyer? I... Anyway. Also, I might want to get an ad spot. I wish you would do it on PS2 and just instead of keeping with the ad spots. Like, why can't they, you know, why don't we give any people who play Godzilla Savior for bit in their mind? But, okay, let's get to day two so we can fuck up the video. Day two was basically me. Uh, I didn't really do much. I did go, go to a couple of, oh, I got the Joe Kaiju Kim I went to. <laughs> uh, I went on day one, I believe I went to a Joe Kaiju Kill panel. I wasn't 
I did. I was paying attention, but I was on my phone most of the time. <laughs> did it on my phone, and we got stuff and revealed. And also, I'll put a link in the description for the thing that got revealed uh, to the GoFundMe. Just to put it out there. Because it's a long stretch. And I need to make that goal. Anyway. But anyway. That was a cool panel. I think that was the only panel I went to that day. I believe day two I went to like I believe like two panels. We have in total at the G Fest that I only went to like five panels. One being I one being on day one and two one being with Yumiko and the other one being with Dawn Fly of course. And with Yumiko, I we took a crap hold it and I got in the front. I managed to squeeze it into the front and I'm like right in the center doing the peace science. So funny who the guy doing the peace science on Yumiko's Instagram. That's me. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't help it. I like to make myself notice. And I also went to the Dom Fly. I almost got my question asked, but they didn't have enough time. I had my question at I had my hand raised up the entire time. I should stand up like seriously. Oh god. Like I had my hand up the entire time and they did not know Ugh. Mm. And whatever. I probably if he goes again that's here, I'll probably ask him a question. I thought I was gonna ask him though. And then I believe day three, I didn't really do much. I just spent most of my time downstairs waiting and I didn't really get to see what's like a Koja Fan 93 server. That's right there. And then I believe and I believe after I went to like the last panel of the day. And then after that, I was present on the show of Kajikin after party or show of Kajikin map up, whatever you want to call it. I was on that. And my debut on the show of Kajikin. <laughs> and I didn't know, why didn't no one tell me that I was wearing a Godzilla hat? <laughs> but anyway, it was overall G Fest was pretty fun. And if you're wondering if I'm going to go again for 2024, the answer is yes. I'm probably going to make this like an annual thing. I'm going to go like every year. Because I do have fun at the G-Fest. I'm probably going to make this like an annual human event. Probably go like every year for G-Fest. I don't know. Because I do really enjoy G-Fest. And it's pretty fun. It's mostly the experience with the people that's interesting. Not the actual convention itself. Not including guests that they invite. Not including like at the guest actors they invite. But the overall experience and it's pretty enjoying. And I can't wait for next year because next year, guess who's coming? Go to Fan 93. Yeah, next year is going to be an interesting year. Because I'm wondering if we're going to have a script done by then. Oh boy. And like I said, I will get the cat. I'll somehow get that break. Catching Chaos Breakdown team into that freaking movie. <laughs> Even for just cameos or not main roles or whatever. But anyway. But anyway, Xenagogy sign off. And remember, stay big. Stay big, G fans. <laughs>